it's, uh, I think January the 18th, and, uh, kind of stinks when you get in here kind of late. I was running late this morning, but the rut's kind of kicking in, so I figured I'd try it anyways. And I wanted to sit up here at the cabin, because we've been seeing so many bucks right in here. And, unfortunately, all the bucks and the does and everything were pretty much out here already, so I think I pretty much ran them all off. I had that one. I got the camera on it for a minute, but it was... I don't know that I would have shot it anyways, but for sure can't shoot it when it's not, when it's running around crazy, so. I don't know, we're gonna sit here for a little while anyways before work and hopefully, uh, hopefully some more come out, so we'll see. MLK day and that's always been pretty much the, the go day for, for around here, so. From now till the end of season, it should be good. So we'll see. All right, I'm gonna shut up and see if we can see if we can get some more deer to come through here.
Mac. Holy moly. <coughs> I 
I've been holding that in for a while. I didn't think I was gonna get a shot at that deer. I couldn't make up my mind at first if I wanted to shoot him or not, but the more I saw him, the cooler he looked. That's awesome. I've been seeing a ton of deer this morning, got here late. Deer have been rutting, chasing does. I'm just rambling because I'm excited. That's the first deer I've killed in two years, so. That's pretty cool. He's tall, real tall. And he's got some kind of funky looking brow tie on there, so that's pretty cool. That's awesome. The rut's on in Alabama, in case anybody wants to know. He ain't going nowhere. He did a big old nose dive, that was pretty cool. Now I'm gonna have to call for some help because I, I got a bum leg. <laughs> bum knee on the board mlk day every year it kicks it off every year Whew. all right now the work starts all right so He's not a bad deer. He's a uh, definitely unique. He's got three. I don't know if that's a brow tie or not, but there's a hook horn back here. A little split brow tie. That's pretty cool though. Big old body deer. He uh he came in. I had been seeing tons of deer this morning. Saw a bunch of bucks. And they all, the ones that were out here like, that I didn't shoot, they were looking back that way. And he came in the woods over there, or came through the woods. And I thought he was gonna come out over there, but the the bucks that were out here saw me getting ready to shoot him. So they started blowing and took off running. And he didn't really know what to do. He, uh, he ended up coming all the way down the edge of the wood line over here they came all the way back around over here because there was a doe out here that was still feeding and uh he came out here to check on her that was his mistake <laughs> it's been uh it's been a couple years i didn't shoot anything last year and i hadn't shot anything yet this year I hadn't really seen anything until today pretty much so i was getting a little trigger happy and it was just time but uh, nah, that's a pretty deer. I like that. That's awesome with that little brow tie. Thick antlers. Not a bad little Alabama deer. January the 18th, I think it is. So it's MLK day. And usually, historically out here on our farm, whenever we have that, whenever MLK day comes, that's, if they aren't rutting, that's, that's when the trigger is. So they definitely, they definitely were at it today, so pretty much from now to the end of season till February 10th, I think, is when the season goes out. It'll be wide open, especially the next next couple of weeks. So let's get back out here and see if we can get another one. But for now, I'm excited. I'm happy with this one. Good old buck. Now y'all can see old Yep knee over here trying to stand up with one bad knee. Oh! Kids, don't get old because it sucks. Don't get old because it sucks. 